Welcome to this RTD interview. Today, I'm excited to have first-time guest, Mr. Marcello Leone. He's the CEO of Balfcana Enterprises Incorporated, a manufacturer of infused cannabis beverages. And today, he's joined us here on RTD to, sh to share information about the cannabis sector and the emerging opportunities in that space. So, Marcello, welcome to RTD interviews. Thank you, Mike. Appreciate it. Yes, I appreciate you taking time to join us. Uh, definitely, as I mentioned, looking forward to find out more about this space because here in the U.S. especially, it's really becoming a primary subject matter for investment opportunities. And so I'm curious to find out more about the space and to educate our audience here because as I mentioned, we're pretty much heavy, precious metals. And so I always want to be able to open up to new, to new horizons here. So looking forward to diving into it. But before we get into that, uh, curious to find out a little bit more about yourself and uh, who is Marcello Leone. So can you give us a little bit of your background and how you've arrived at this point in your career? Sure. Um, I, uh, I grew up in the, uh, in the uh, entrepreneurial environment, spirit, uh, worked in a family business till I was about uh, 42 years old, uh, worked in the apparel industry, uh, where it was focused more on innovative health and wellness. Uh, and then uh, when I was approximately around 44 years old, I uh, uh, looked at what, what did the future look like? And in innovative health and wellness, uh, I really looked at the movement of plant-based minerals, uh, water, uh, and so I ended up starting to get involved into uh, natural health and wellness. And I founded a company called Natura Group, uh, which is a CPG leader in the plant-based uh, mineral space, a leader for a brand called Trace, where we have CPG distribution throughout all of Canada, over 3,000 points of distribution and we're getting ready to launch into the United States. Uh, and we uh, went out to create an innovative and proprietary product of trace plant-based minerals. And uh, that was my evolution from uh, innovation of, uh, of beverages in the plant-based mineral space and uh, water. And then uh, about three years ago, uh, when the, the opportunity of the legalization of cannabis, which uh, is becoming uh, more and more discussed and looking to become legalized all over the world, Canada was a leader in that space. And uh, three years ago, federally legal legalization of cannabis, uh, flour, et cetera. And then we had the legalization of 2.0 products, edibles, beverages, et cetera. And because of our experience for almost 10 years in the plant-based mineral space and infusion of beverages, uh, it was a natural kind of... Uh, 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 affiliation into the expansion into um, uh, CBD and THC infused beverages for 2.0. So we, we went out and we filed for our standard processing license to try to become uh, a licensed producer for beverages, of which I'm pleased to tell you uh, about three weeks ago, we received our standard processing license. And so we are uh, federally legal to produce in federally legal and have distribution and federally legal distributed uh, points of sales all throughout Canada. Mm -hmm. uh, and this is such an early industry. Canada is yeah. a leader and, um, and in your counterpart and our partners down in the United States of America, uh, there's big discussion of when this federal legalization comes. So that's just to give you a little bit of my background uh, of where, where I came from in the space. All right. That sounds good. I appreciate you for sharing that. So that's, I want to dive right into that because here in America, you know, I think here in Michigan, in particular, I think it was this last uh, presidential cycle go round is when it became fully legalized here for recreational purposes, if I'm not mistaken. And so, of course, in my area, I see more and more TAC, CBDC cannabis stuff like never before. And so assuming the United States is catching up. And so there's a there's a difference, as you mentioned, Canada started first. So give us a little bit about the overview of, of how well it's doing in Canada and what you think uh, will be coming to the U.S. here in the years ahead, possibly? Sure. You know, I kind of look at it like uh, still early days, but great, great consumption. And people are looking for a multitude of ways to consume uh, cannabis infused products, uh, cannabis products, whether you're smoking, whether it's edibles, whether it's uh, distillates, whether it's tinctures, whether it's uh, beverages. It's beautiful to see how the industry is expanding and the usage is expanding on the United States side. Um, it's great to see uh, all of the different multi-state operators and different states that have legalized for recreational purposes, et cetera. I kind of look at it like uh, the end of prohibition when the end of prohibition of alcohol many, many, many years ago. Um, look at where we are today, you know, you know, 50, 60 years later, where are we? Uh, mass distribution, full legalization worldwide, alcohol is consumed. I think cannabis um, 
uh, is on that path. I think we're in uh, almost to, to uh, first base, mm -hmm. um, not even at first base. Uh, I think federal legalization has to come into the United States. And I think a lot of operators uh, in Canada looking to the United States, uh, really for us, we, we're looking to see that, you know, that federal legalization happens before we really start to get uh, uh, very active in the United States of America for federal legalization. Uh, but, but we have some great partners uh, from the United States. Uh, so we're extremely well positioned on the north and south for uh, expansion, distribution uh, with brands that are own in-house brands and brands that we're partners with from the U.S. into Canada as well. Um, but, you know, going back to where do I see it? I just see this as one of the most amazing spaces from a health and wellness perspective. Um, uh, it definitely helps in, in many different treatments throughout throughout uh, people that utilize it for health and wellness mm -hmm. uh, versus what the stereotypical usage was was considered. Um, and we're really excited about the future. I just think that um, we got to get that federal legalization down in the United States. So I think that's coming. Yeah. Now, at this current moment, it's, it's clearly a booming industry. And so what are some of the consumer trends? And so you're in the beverage space. And so I know there's edibles, there's the recreational kind you can smoke, there's a vape. So, you know, what are some of those? What do you think is going to actually rise to the top? Or is there room for multiple uh, products or whatnot? You know, we're, we're I, I think that that the um, just the natural consumption will continue to grow and you're seeing it quarter after quarter when you're looking at all the results in Canada and the United States with the operators. Mm -hmm. As far as products, I think we're going to start to see more and more diverse products, but I think you're starting to see that uh, flowers is a main one, but you're getting people that would like to not have to smoke uh, and would like to have alternatives. And so beverages are a big, uh, a big, big category that's starting to, uh, to grow. Uh, the acceptance of, of that social consumption is starting to grow. I think we're going to start to see uh, social consumption lounges. You're going to have, you're going to see much more access to beverages and edibles. I think that, uh, that these are going to be really the trends moving forward that uh, are going to be very important and are going to be very accepted by consumers. So uh, I, it's going to be very exciting to see how, how it continues to roll out, but, uh, but beverages and edibles uh, are very much, uh, the two categories that are continuing to grow nice and steadily uh, versus, you know, um, the flower and the vapes that, that, that have been uh, uh, the, the groundbreaking and founding of cannabis usage. All right. All right. Understandable. So in, this, in the U.S. in particular, we have a new administration. And so at this current moment, you know, in your opinion, how, I guess, friendly towards the, you know, the national rollout and legalization of, of cannabis might the Biden administration be? Uh, what are your thoughts on that, Spear? Will it, will it help having a new administration? You, you know, I think, I hope it helps. And, and there's a lot of discussion that it should help. And there's been uh, discussions prior to Biden coming in as president that um, this was going to be a mandate that they were going to make uh, cannabis federally legal. <laughs> I think that we see more and more states that are becoming uh, uh, legalized, but we really need that federal legalization. So we're going to hold, you know, I think it's exciting that Biden's there, but the, the, their, your government is going to need to to get it federally legalized so that the banking systems open up worldwide and we can have a commerce between an international market uh, and the United States is you know probably uh, one of the most important markets in the world. So we're need we're going to need to see that. I think Biden um, time will tell us, but uh, the House is going to have to approve that, and I hope they do that sooner than later. All right now, one of the I guess in here in the U.S., you know, Keith Brands is a very popular. Uh, company here uh, in the space. And so I assume you guys have a relationship with that. Can you shine some light on that for us and give us a little bit of your you know, affiliations with that? Yeah, sure. I mean, Keith, what a great brand based out of Colorado. Um, you know, one of the early founders in the beverage space, almost 10 years out of Colorado. Distribution in the United States and a thousand points of, uh, of dispensaries in multi-state uh, uh, multi states. Um, we recognized Keith for Eight of the top selling brands in Colorado, Keefe Leeds. In California, two of the top 10 brands are Keefe's. Um, they are the number one beverage brand in the United States for units sold mm -hmm. year after year. So they are a leader. We, as being the, a, a very uh, innovative, uh, proprietary um, uh, beverage company that has the ability to uh, uh, 
to, to produce our own uh, brands, in-house brands, offer white label solutions and partner with other brands. We saw Keef as a, as a excellent partner for us for Canada. Great, great uh, history of products that they've developed and formulation. So we partnered with Keef and we are the uh, exclusive manufacturer and distri distribution partner for Keef in Canada. Mm -hmm. And it's just an awesome relationship for us, but what a great partnership for more, both the North South that we have with Keef, which uh, opens up the whole manufacturing ability with our partnership for ourselves, for our own uh, in-house brands, for distribution in the United States as well. Mm -hmm. And having access to over a thousand points of distribution in the United States as well. So mm. it's such a great two-way relationship for both parties. Um, we're really excited about that. And again, we're just getting started. We just received our license. So we're just getting started and we're getting ready to launch key products in Canada within the next six to eight weeks. So it's very exciting. Keith is a, a leader in the space down in the United States. And, and now I, I, I foresee them being as well in Canada. Yeah, interesting. So let's dive into uh, the Beth Canada then. So give us a little bit of your business model and introduce us to some of the details of like, actually what, uh, what's going on with you guys. What are you guys up to? Sure. You know, we're, we're pretty, uh, pretty uh, unique. We're diversified uh, health and wellness uh, uh, pro uh, beverage and products, natural products company. We, we offer a full development and manufacturing of plant-based and cannabis and natural products. So uh, we, have, we have a nice uh, model that allows us to uh, be not only positioned uh, in the cannabis space. We have one division through BevCanna, which is fully licensed, that allows us to do all cannabis, CBD, and hemp infused products, uh, whether that's beverages and, and nutraceutical natural products. And then we have another division, which is a company that Bev Canada just acquired uh, about three weeks ago called Natura Group uh, and is a leader in the CPG space for their own in-house brand and brand that they developed called Trace, which is uh, distributed throughout Canada and 3,000 points of distribution and getting ready to distribute internationally. Um, and this, just to give you a quick, I'm, I'm drinking some of the alkaline uh, water here in the, in the can and with the blue, mm -hmm. and then here with the black, is our proprietary, innovative, and exclusive uh, uh, plant-based mineral-infused product that has a fulvic and humic minerals uh, infused in the water and has some incredible health benefits. Uh, again, any product that has infusion requires Health Canada approval, CFIA approval, which would be comparable to the United States of your US FDA approval as well. Mm -hmm. So our leading product of trace plant-based mineral product that you see here that comes in also a sustainable plastic, fully biodegradable plastic cans. And we uh, have the ability to offer all types of form factors. So we're very unique in the bottling manufacturing uh, facility that way, mm -hmm. that uh, we are probably the only one in Canada that can do uh, uh, non-infused and infused has two separate divisions so that we have the ability to play in the whole innovation of health and wellness, which mm -hmm. uh, CBD and cannabis falls beautifully into the whole natural product system as well. And, uh, and amazing products takes years and times to develop and have that innovation of products. Yeah, well, um, looking, so forward that, to, looking forward to, uh, looking forward to, uh, you know, oh, yeah. get, get my hands on some of that. I want to try that for sure. <laughs> uh, it's getting ready to launch in the United States as well. So, uh, um, you're going to get some of this product. It's amazing. Uh, and oh, it has yeah. incredible health benefits as well. Uh, and that's what really made me uh, get really, really committed to the product and to the company mm -hmm. because of the benefits of what these fulvic and humic plant-based minerals do. Nice. So, um, yeah. So, so, at this current moment, so why don't you share with us some a little bit of the competitive advantages you guys have uh, in, in that particular sector? Sure. I mean, um, we offer a full selection uh, and a state-of-the-art bottling uh, capabilities. Uh, for full variety of form factors that we can produce for our own in-house brands like Anarchist Mountain that we will launch throughout Canada and the United States. But also we are a white label offered uh, licensed manufacturer for CBD and THC infused uh, products. What that means is um, if someone who is licensed that doesn't have the capability to do beverages uh, would like to be in the beverage space because they're today in the uh, flower space, et cetera, mm -hmm. uh, they can come to us and we can offer them a full service that we can develop uh, formulations for them, uh, branding for them, and we can offer form factors for them so they can either do cans, uh, PET, fully sustainable products, uh, glass, et cetera. Mm -hmm. So we have a full state-of-the-art bottling facility that has cap capabilities to produce over 200 million bottles on an annual basis. 
Uh, and, and that gives us a very big competitive advantage when you talk about uh, the cannabis space in Canada. Uh, and then we have another big competitive advantage, which our partnership in the United States with Keith. Uh, once we're ready to launch into the United States of America, we have pro the best partner in the United States of America and manufacturing and distribution throughout dispensaries into the United States. Beautiful competitive advantage there as well. On the uh, CPG side of the business for uh, BevCana, the new division that they just acquired from Naturo Group, wow. Now they can also offer full white label opportunities for any retailers internationally that would love to uh, acquire from uh, BevCana, which owns their own aquifer, natural, beautiful aquifer on their property, uh, untouched by man. The water goes directly into the bottling facility, has a natural alkaline level of 7.7, .7, beautiful, fresh Canadian Rocky Mountain alkaline spring water. Any uh, retailer that would like water, we have full white label capabilities to do for any other retailer. And this is nas national uh, natural CPG distribution, non-infused with cannabis or THC. It also allows us to offer that opportunity of CPG product into the international markets. And you're gonna see some interesting things coming out of Japan and China and internationally in our marketplace. We also have a really great, uh, uh, we took a, a, a kind of a, uh, a, diff, uh, a, a four pillared approach to the foundation of our business. And we also went and getting ready for federal legalization in the United States. BevCan also made an acquisition of a direct to consumer online uh, uh, a company called Pure Therapy Oils, where we have a direct to consumer site where we offer beautiful natural products and CBD hemp infused natural products, nutraceuticals online. That, um, that gives access to the marketplace in the United States that they can shop today. So today, if you go to pureoilstherapy.com, uh, mm -hmm. you can purchase our, our products. And we have over 23,000 clients. And our uh, run rate this year is approximately $7 million, positive EBITDA on our Pure Therapies division as well. So mm -hmm. we're positioned in the United States as well, where we have access to supply our products throughout the United States. Gives us a great competitive advantage there as well. So those are just a few areas on the four pillared approach yeah. that that we take to be able to compete in the marketplace and not be segregated in just one dimension All right. understandable now you so saw you guys are a publicly traded company let's get to some of the business side of things so you're you're listed on a canadian stock exchange if i'm not mistaken give us some little bit of information about that and the company let's talk about some of the financial side of things sure we uh we went public uh about two and a half years ago um, we trade on the CSE. I believe we're trading uh, under our symbol as BEV. Uh, <laughs> and we trade approximately at $1 Canadian, which would be approximately 80 cents US, I believe. Um, and yes, it's just uh, we're looking to create more and more shareholder value um, as, as it takes a tremendous amount of time uh, when you file for your, your federal legalization licenses in Canada. And I'm sure it'll happen in the United States when that happens as well. There is uh, there is procedure after procedure and uh, it took us about two, two years, two and a half years to get our license. And so when you look at our chart, um, you know, we went public and, and there was the, the, the opportunity of building the business and, and then it requires the licensing. So you'll see on our chart from September to where we are today, I think we've increased some tremendous shareholder value and we really uh, haven't even really begun. We're, as, I, as I mentioned earlier, we haven't even hit... Uh, we haven't really even hit first base and, and the revenue opportunities that are coming are amazing. And the acquisitions that we made with the existing businesses and this four pillar approach uh, and being able to tap into those existing revenues as well. Uh, we're very excited in creating shareholder value. And we think uh, this is just the beginning. Now, looking ahead into the future, you know, everything goes well, the trend continues to go up, you know, what type of, you know, say two, three, five years from now, what type of, you know, market cap slash, you know, uh, level will you guys be operating at, the, at that point? Hopefully, what do you guys see? What do you see yourself going three, five years with, with uh, in, in this particular space? You know, Mike, that's a, that's a, that's a, that's an interesting question and a tough one to answer, but I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to just, I'm going to give you a little bit on the balance sheet. You know, we've got about $55 million in hard assets, uh, uh, debts, very little debt on the books. Um, we have a, a great company with great leadership. We just announced a great president that was from PepsiCo, head of innovation from PepsiCo. Uh, you're going to start to see some more uh, team members that are joining our company that you're going to see that are very 
talented in the CPG space and the cannabis space that have been in this industry. We are positioned for growth for the next three to five years. Uh, and and where, where does that go? We're just doing everything that we can in order to make sure that we become, and we are a, uh, uh, a very uh, diligent company, uh, keeping our costs very, very, very focused, uh, making sure that, that we're not burning unrealistic money or just to burn money. We are looking to be a very profitable company. We are looking to build this business and we don't know what the future uh, could look like. But again, as I mentioned earlier, it's early days. So if where we are today, mm -hmm. based on uh, great assets that we have, uh, cash in the bank, uh, and, and that we are one of the leaders in the space that are fully licensed, um, I, I foresee some great partnerships, opportunities, growth opportunities. I, I, I look at continued shareholder value. I think that's the best way that I can answer it for you because it's very hard to predict a stock price, mm -hmm. uh, but, but we have built a foundation for growth, for revenue growth, for profitability, and to increase shareholder value. That's, that's what we're here to do. All right. Sounds good there. And that's all you can ask for is just continue to do your best, push ahead and everything will work itself out. So once yeah. again, it's been great having you on RT interviews and giving us a chance to dive into a new space. And I'm excited to, you know, learn more myself and definitely get my hands on some of those when they're ready. Okay. To go. Mike, don't worry. We're going to get you that our product for our beverages. We're going to get you our nutraceuticals and our plant-based supplements as well. Uh -huh. and, uh, we're going to let you, uh, you try the product so that you can talk to your, uh, uh, your uh, your uh, audience and let them know about the products. I think you're going to love it. Sounds good. Well, once again, for those that are uh, want to find out more, uh, point them back to where they can get more information and, and read up and follow and things like that. Share with us where they can get in touch with you guys and, and stay in tune with things. Uh, please uh, come to our website at bevcanna.com uh, and, and you'll be able to be directed to all of our subsidiaries, uh, puretherapy.oils, Natura Group, etc. cetera. Uh, you'll have a full explanation of all of our business and the verticals that we have in our business. I think you will find them uh, very, very, very exciting. Sounds good. Well, Marjolo, it's been great having you here on the show. Thank you. I would definitely keep in, in tune with things and hopefully have you back on down the line and we'll see where we're at and hopefully have more good news to give to the public. So once again, thanks for joining us on RTD Interviews. Thank you. Appreciate you. Thank you. The best.